Hi, this is Dalton with Geo Marvel, and today we're going to talk about distributed collaborations, specifically from ArcGIS Online to ArcGIS Enterprise environments. So, as you can see here, we have the Geo Marvel ArcGIS Online account, and we have the Geo Marvel ArcGIS Enterprise account. So, from ArcGIS Online, which will be the host of this distributed collaboration. So we're going to start from ArcGIS Online and create a group that will be part of this collaboration. So we'll give it a name, GeoMarble ArcGIS Online to Enterprise Distributed Collaboration. For group membership, we will allow any organization's members. We'll have people join this group by invitation. We will allow everyone to view this group and let any group members contribute content. And at the bottom here, we can optionally toggle shared update, administrative group, and open data, none of which we will do today. And you can see our group is created. Now from the ArcGIS Enterprise side, let's go ahead and create a group as well that will be part of this collaboration. So we'll create a group. Let's give it the same exact name. We will have this group viewable by everybody, and all group members can contribute. And shared update and administrative group here we will not toggle on. Now that our groups are created, let's jump back to ArcGIS Online and let's go ahead and establish our collaboration. So from the Organization tab, we will go to Settings and click the Collaborations option. And then we'll click Create Distributed Collaboration. So here we'll give our collaboration a name and description. And next we will provide a workspace name and description. And then we can use a new or existing group. We're going to use an existing group that we've already created. And we'll set our items as copies. So we've clicked send an invite. Now we need to add our guest organization. In this case, it's the ArcGIS Enterprise URL. And we're going to choose this organization to receive content through this collaboration. And we'll click send invitation and that will generate our invite file. So from the enterprise side, we can go to organization and settings and collaborations. And here we'll go accept invitation. So this will prompt us to use that invite file to accept this invitation from the ArcGIS Online organization. And we'll save that response. And then we have a response file. So back at the ArcGIS Online side, we will accept the guest organization and accept that response file and accept guest organization. Back on Enterprise side, looking at our collaboration, we can then click Join Workspace. And we will choose a new or existing group. In this case, we choose our existing group, and we'll click Join Workspace. And now we have select successfully established our collaboration. And from here, we can click Sync Workspace to make sure the data syncs across the board. So back in Enterprise, let's refresh our group. And you can see we now see the sewers and manhole covers layer that was shared from the ArcGIS Online side in this collaboration. So from ArcGIS Enterprise, we now have access to the data. We can visualize the data. And we can even open in map viewers and create applications of our own using the data that is part of this distributed collaboration. So let's save this web map using the collaborative data. And let's go ahead and share and create a web app from this. So let's go ahead and create a quick dashboard. And this is just showing how through a distributed collaboration, you can, as the guest organization, use the data that is shared with you to create your own maps, apps, and explore the data as needed. So this has been a quick overview of how to set up and establish a distributed collaboration between an ArcGIS Online and ArcGIS Enterprise environment. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other great videos on our channel and we'll catch you next time.